Gladius Prime was a bastion of humanity. Newly colonized. A suitable base for our chapter to rebuild and recruit. We space marines raised our fortress here. Grew strong again. But the orc invasion brought a warp storm that cut off our Emperor's light. And the dread Necrons crawled from the earth beneath our feet. War was on all sides, yet we are the Emperor's chosen. We do not dread the dark or quail at the relics of old. Terror is for those who oppose us. We know no fear. Okay, so this is the tutorial of the game. This is where you will start off when you play the tutorial, so you can move the camera around. This, welcome to Gladius. To move the camera, position your mouse over terrain. Click and hold the left mouse button and move your mouse. Once you are comfortable with surroundings, click OK. Space Marines deploy most of their crucial infrastructure from orbit to found your fortress. To found your fortress, which is the backbone of your chapter on Gladius, and elsewhere, click the Deploy City button in the Operations Panel, and Panel, Panel, sorry, in the top left, and select an empty tile in sight. Note the Space Marines only have one city. Okay. Where's a good place for our city? Oh, that's blinking, so let's put it there. Cities gather resources required to fuel your war machinery. The city screen displays all the resources related to the city. Hover your mouse over each resource to find out more. Okay, that's population. You got growth. We got requis requisitions, which are used to sustain the population in the city. Construct buildings as well as produce and maintain units. Energy used to maintain buildings as well as produce and maintain special units. Research is used to discover new technologies. Influence is used to acquire and maintain city tiles. Um, okay. And loyalty indicates the population's dedication to your cause. Alright. Uh, here, buildings are, li are listed with their available op actions. Note that all buildings of the same type are grouped together and can only perform one action at a time. Although multiple actions can be queued up, the required resources will be immediately subtracted from your global pool. So we've got an orbital relay, which constructs new buildings and generates influence. We've got a great hall, which is a headquarters building that generates resources. So the orbital relay takes three energy to upkeep. So at the top here, on the top left, you get to see your resources. So you've got requisitions and you're making roughly eight a turn you've got your energy um, which you're making roughly four a turn your research which is used to discover new technologies making eight a turn and our influence which is used to acquire and maintain city titles invoke tactics and operations as well as recruit powerful hero units and purchase their items and that's going up about 16 points a turn basically so you've got all that going on you got these little things down the bottom here, which are what you use to use use to build with. Uh, acquire titles. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, there are free building slots in the city, an opportune time to make plans to expand your army. Begin by constructing an infant 
Factory Production Building. Click the blinking building button and select a city tile with an empty building slot to start construction there. This will take several turns to complete. So there's our blinking one, construct an Apothecaron, which is a building that produces infantry as well as generates research and increases loyalty. So we need this to build our infantry, so we're going to click on that, and we're going to, as you can see, we're going to put it right in the middle there. It's going to take six turns to construct. Take your time to explore the interface. Every button and label has a hint to provide you with relevant information. Uh, if you are unsure, unsure what to do next, refer to the red task button on the right side of the screen. It will help you focus on the next task before you end your turn. That's here. So this really helps us get through our tasks pretty, pretty decently when we need to. So we can like, um, We can't see a lot going on. We can zoom up. We can zoom right down. See our units. It's pretty cool. Uh, pretty standard um, tactic space marines that they are. We can click on them. Move the selected unit by pressing the right mouse button over destination tile. Holding the button down will display which path the unit will take. Each unit can only be moved once per turn. Gladius is full of unknown treasures and vicious alien creatures. As you explore, you will receive discovery notifications that can be opened to reveal more information. Some terrain can be explored for rewards, while others, other features might hurt your unit merely by standing on it. Tread carefully, the planet's life can be ruthless, but if you leave it alone, it may spare you. Towers with special resource features can be captured by moving a unit on them. So there's one there, for example. Now this will construct an outpost, providing you with a small but important bonus to your resource output. And giving the unit stationed there increased damage reduction and healing rate. Defend your outposts or they will be taken over by other factions or the Gladius wildlife. So if we move this tactical space marine squad onto here, Right, we've now captured that point. It's now our outpost. So we've now got that. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to settings and just turn that music down again. I think. The bottom left there, we've got our tactical marines. Um, card telling us what that group of marines is with their armor reduces the amount of damage taken from weapons and abilities hit points the amount of damage the unit can sustain before dying morale psychological state of the unit actions the amount of actions including retaliations the unit can perform we've got movement the number of tiles the unit can move through in one turn but remember terrain will make a difference in that and level with just the experience. Down here on the gun we've got a bolt gun which is damages 1.5 but attacks once times 5. Okay, it's got rapid fire which is increases the attacks at half range and this unit cannot be broken by morale and is immune to fear so fear doesn't affect it and its range there for the bolt gun is 2. Okay, so if we take this unit, basically use it to scout around a thing. Hello. Cities. To open the city screen, you can click on the city name or double click the headquarters. You can also select the city's defenses by single clicking the headquarters or on the icon above the city. All cities have limited firepower and will defend themselves when attacked. Make sure to protect your city at all cost. If you lose all your cities, you are defeated. So if we click the name, it brings up the cities thing. And I guess this makes us go to our next city, which we don't have. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. 
Choose Research as our next one. The research screen presents your faction's unique technology screen, a tree. Begin by selecting a technology to research from tier 1. You must research two technologies from a tier to unlock the subsequent tier. You can speed up research by constructing additional research buildings in your cities. Note that all progress is lost when you change the current researching technology. Well, let's do this. This is going to be a building that produces heroes as well as generates influence and increases loyalty. So we'll do that. Exit city, clear notifications, enter. So when it, even when it's the AI turn, you can still move around the map, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's um, move there and take this post if we can. Okay, so we've got this outpost, um, Shard of Vol. So you can see on there that it, what it gives us 10 energy. So we get plus 10 energy there, which is great. Where's our other marines? Let's send Let's send them up here. See if we can take this outpost here. Alright, so it says here in turn, so this is this is the really good button, it makes everything flow really, really easily. So we just end turn and get attacked by these guys. Units with action points remaining that have ranged weapons will automatically perform an overwatch attacks when an enemy unit enters their attack range, unless the enemy unit has stealth. Terrain affects units in a variety of ways. Forest and Imperial, Imperial units have an increased movement cost of ground units and for ground units and make it harder to see and fire across. Height differences may also prevent your units from having a clear line of fire. Tiles marked with red indicate enemies that can be attacked from your current position. Every unit has a variety of statistics and attributes, traits, abilities and weapons, each with their own ranges and effects. Some units might only have melee weapons but may quickly move through rough terrain, while others might have fear auras or unleash powerful artillery blasts. Move your mouse over the icons and buttons in the selection panel to find out more about the selected unit. We've done that before, but basically they're in an outpost at the moment which grants damage reduction and increases the healing rate. Uh, it also grants range damage re reduction to infantry units. So being in an outpost is obviously beneficial and you can do these things. You can disband the unit, you can put it into overwatch, you can hold position, you can hold position until healed, it means that you can't move. You can skip the unit's turn. Space Marines are able to issue strategic and tactical operations by expanding influence. One such operation is the deployment of a Fortress of Redemption. A stationary unit that secures adjacent special uh, resource features. Placement of fortresses of redemption is key for space marines to gather resources beyond their city's reach. So there's a deploy a fortress of redemption. So cost 50. We can deploy that now. So we, if we deploy that there, there is, that actually now does damage. It it's got a cannon in it, and it's going to do damage, which is pretty cool. All right, let's move these guys to take that outpost. It gives us 20 energy. All right, so we've got an outpost there. These guys, hovering the cursor over enemies with a unit selected, will display important information about the defender and the weapons used, as well as the expected casualties for the battle. Note that not every weapon can fire at all ranges. Unusable weapons are greyed out. 
Units can only participate in combat once per turn, after which the icon above the unit becomes a transparent to indicate it has no action points remaining. This unit has rapid fire weapons, so these guys, these uh, space marines have got rapid, rapid fire weapon equipped. Units with rapid fire weapons are able to cause much more damage at close range, but can still fire from further away. It might be worth moving closer before attacking, we already are close, so we don't need to move any closer. And goodbye to you. Alright, so go back to here, end turn. Your unit has taken damage and is more likely to die in the next fight. To recover his hit points, he must stay still and not participate in combat. Click the hold position action to wait until he is back at full strength. You can accelerate the healing rate by moving the unit into a friendly city tile. Let's just do that. Okay. Okay. So what are these space marines going to do? Wire weed doesn't look good. In turn. These guys are like scouting. Ooh, what's that? Ambles. What are these? It's an ape-like Zonia species native to the desert death world of Luther McVeigh the fourth, or the ninth, which has spread throughout the Imperium of Man. Failed attempts of domestication. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's take them out. Can we take them out? That's five damage, didn't seem to do much more. We've got another base there. Exit city, clear notifications, and turn. The Compendium stores a collection of useful game information. You can read up on factions, buildings, units, reread tips and more. You can open it by clicking the question mark at the top right corner of the screen. So a recu reclusium has been built. These things look really strong, actually, don't they? Oh, that's one down. More doggies over there. It's on cooldown, so I can't make another one for another three turns, a ten turn cooldown, okay. Let's choose some research. Let's draw, build the armory. Ah, oh, looks like they've been, looks like they've got some friends with them now, which is not too good. I think we might have to retreat. Oh, 
Oh, that counts down, so it's not. It's six of ten turns to go yet. can now produce units. Queue up as many as you like but watch your resources. Since this is a separate building type, other buildings can keep producing at the same time. If you construct additional infantry production buildings, infantry will complete training twice as fast. Before you can construct additional buildings you have to claim more titles. tiles. Go ahead and click acquire tile and select a tile with one or more building slots adjacent to your city borders. Acquiring a tile will take a few turns and cost some influence. So there we go. Acquire tile. So we want to acquire the tile. It's going to take five influence. And it's going to take two turns. Okay. Alright. Can we... Can we build a... Space Marines, we are. We'll build some Space Marines. There we go. Building Space Marines. Clear notifications in turn. See what the enemy AI is going to do now. Okay. I think we need to do into menu. And continue to... some sound here I think um, what can these guys do when they're in there hold position can't move now can they so um, these guys are just gonna hold position and hopefully heal up with your army production up and running you should take care of your resources the infantry building provides only a minor resource gain to keep your war machinery in operation you'll have to construct specialized resource buildings build a resource building just like you've built the infantry building Tile on which the building is placed may modify the building's resource output. Look out for ma matching resource icons. It's important to not run out of resources, otherwise your buildings will begin to work at a lower efficiency. So construct a refectory thing. Okay, we'll do that. You are now you, you are now be able to produce new units. Maintain your economy and understand the basic concepts of the game. Uh, more tips and suggestions will be shown throughout your interactions. But we'll now leave you to explore the world of Gladius Prime and discover its mysteries alone. Survival is no birthright, but prize wrested from an uncaring galaxy by forgotten heroes. Okay, cool. Now, I have another game in progress that is where I'd like to cut to now. Um, aside from this one so that's basically it for the tutorial and now it's about exploring the world and I'm gonna um, continue exploring the world in my other game that was that was the same it got up to about the same point as this but the fact of the matter is it's a different world so I'm gonna go to that world and um, explore it so thanks for watching and join me in my next video where I'll continue basically at this point but on my other world.
So thanks for watching and uh, leave a like or a comment.